Yo, what is up guys, it is Ripper, and guys, before you guys get into today's video, I do want to say, if you guys haven't seen last video, please, please, please go check it out, it's a very, very, very important and crucial video for my channel, it's something I haven't talked about ever, and I definitely, definitely hope you guys see it, but if you guys do, please be sure to leave a like, let me know what you think, and I hope you enjoyed today's video, let's hop into it. Alright guys, so let's just hop straight into the video today guys. So basically today I just want to be talking about uh, my time at uh, Halloween Horror Nights. It's, you know, it's my first time going. It's, uh, you know, so that I don't know what I'm going to expect. I've been to Universal many different times, but I've really never been to Halloween Horror Nights of it. So obviously this is a first for me. And keep in mind, I had a plan that day to get something done. So guys, to start off, basically, we planned this trip a while ago. And keep in mind, I've been wanting to go to Halloween Horror Nights for years. Okay, we've been to Hollow Scream multiple times, and I was like, you know what? You know, I want something better. I want something that's, like, gonna be more higher quality, if you want to say. And so, something that I've realized, and, you know, a lot of people talk about, but Halloween Horror Nights is the better version of Hollow Scream. And that's how it's always been. So it's like... You know, this is something I kind of want to do to try it. If this is how it's going to be, I might as well try it. So obviously, you know, we've been planning it. Um, some things went down and we were able to go. So finally, we had the we had the trip planned, all that stuff, and we went away. We were staying at this hotel called Cabana Bay. Now this, now this hotel, guys, it is a very retro styled hotel. So it's like this massive, nice, luxurious hotel, but it's like retro styled. So it's like... You know, you're getting the theme with it. It's really, really cool. So I would recommend if you guys ever want to go to Universal, that's definitely the place to be. It's a very interesting place. And it's something that, you know, you really won't forever forget. You know, even if you say you don't stay a while or you just go and visit, it's something that you just don't forget what you see because it's that awesome. There's so much stuff to do on the inside of there. I mean, there's a bowling alley. There's a pool. There's there 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 is a gym, obviously there's stores uh there's a starbucks there's a diner area there's like a big buffet area. i mean it's just like it's like a shopping mall basically in this hotel and it's really, really cool because a lot of people go there just to go inside they don't even stay um so it is really cool and i would highly recommend it if you guys are interested in you know if you're in florida ever in universal ever in orlando area definitely a place to check out and let me know what you think so let's get to the part where we're actually universal so we get to universal and you know, we're walking around, we're walking on City Walk more specifically, and we're like, you know, our usual thing, we're walking around, we're looking at different stores, all that stuff, and uh, we find the, we find this tattoo place. Now, keep in mind, guys, we were planning, I was planning on getting my first tattoo that weekend anyways, that Sunday, that was the original plan. And so, we're walking around, and we ended up finding it, and we found it early, so we found it's called Hearts in Huntington, if you ever heard of it. And if you know the story, I guess, behind it, it's basically Pink's husband, who is an owner of the place. Uh, and that's where the whole, uh, think, heart, yeah, heart comes from. So, and he's a big dirt bike person, like BMX type guy. So, like, very well-known guy. And long story short, when we go in there, we're asking them so we can kind of get a reference, if we can maybe set a, an appointment, all that stuff. And we aren't really planning on getting anything done that day. But what really, I guess you could say what ends up happening, basically, is that he said that there's, like, no appointments for tomorrow. And, you know, it's like, okay, well, crap. It's like, well, what are we going to do? And he said, well, we can do it today, right now. And, obviously, my reaction is kind of like, what? <laughs> and so, you know, I had to sit and think about it. But at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? I want to do it. I want to get this I really want to get this tattoo and just get it over with. So, um, you know, I'm like, let's, let's go for it. And so we're willing to be like, okay, you know what? Let's sign a crap load of documents. Let me just say, it was just paper after paper after paper after paper after paper. It was just constant, like every agreement possible. So we had to sign all that. We got all that done. And the guy, I, look, I had a great guy. This guy's name is Lewis. Uh, really cool guy. Shout out to him. Um, love the work he did. But basically, you know, I got it and uh, I'm sitting in the chair and I'll put up a screenshot actually of kind of what the actual, what the scene looked like um, before I got it. So I'll put that up on the screen for you. But basically, uh, you know, it was kind of like one of those moments of like, 
surprise and very I should say nervousness kicking in because again never got one before and I'm sitting in the chair I'm sitting there waiting and he you know you do the process you wipe it down you clean it all that stuff and finally he gets to the needle and I was staring at it but then I'm just like okay can not look at this keep on I'm like thinking about all this before it's happening and I'm kind of like freaking out because like inside I'm freaking out I'm outside, I'm inside I'm freaking out I'm like I don't like that I don't like needles and, and if anybody I've, I've mentioned this before I don't like needles at all I don't like needles from blood I don't like anything like that that's why I kind of don't donate blood because I don't like the idea of needle stabbing into me so he goes through and he uh and he basically just starts and at first the pain was like I don't know how to describe it it was kind of like uh like imagine being pinched feeling like that's kind of what the first like initial touch felt like and it kind of went downhill from there because like the slow and like I guess you want to say like exact like kind of like imagine like using an exact knife trying to get an exact shape like that's kind of a good comparison for me and uh, that's you know so imagine that just a needle very slowly some pauses keep continue going pauses continue going and it's just him trying to get the exact outline of you know that and so it takes time and so he was able to get it done and uh, he went through it and then the coloring honestly guys to be honest wasn't even the wasn't even the bad part of it I think the worst part of the tattoo was probably just the outline in it and honestly it's because it's the slower part it's the part where it's more meticulous it's the more exact and it's more you know you got to take your time type thing and so I get it it makes sense it was wasn't fun at first so I will say that for anybody who's thinking about it the first time getting one and you getting in like it colored in all that stuff what's gonna happen is the outside part really does come out in my opinion at least for me was one of the worst parts now I know about past stories of like a friend of mine who went and got his first tattoo and he told me and said that he was freaking out said that it's hurt the entire time he had to go through like three different lollipops something like that it wasn't that bad for me but obviously everyone's pain level is different and that's different and that's kind of what it comes down to I feel like is that the pain levels I've talked to other people about it and they even all said that the pain levels what decides how you're going to react to your first tattoo and in my life I've been able to take a lot I've heck I've had a 40 well it was like a 45 pound fall on a uh, fall on my foot before and then I've had a uh, my thumb crushed in between a uh, crushed in between like a machine at the gym like trust me I know what pain feels like nothing will ever beat a 45 falling just let me say that so I go through that I finish the tattoo and he shows me and I really really enjoyed it and it keep in mind like now I have a few touch-ups I need to do because there is some spots that I did not even realize that was blank and I very very surprised about that but I'm gonna put a video up real quick so you guys can see of me like unraveling after after the day goes you know after the day and so you can kind of see what it looks like at that moment and if you look very closely you will see that right here sorry there you go you'll see that there's a little white spot out of the entire tattoo now again did not realize that until the end of it like until literally unraveling and I don't know how I did it but so we're done with the tattoo right I came in mind I have my arm wrapped up if you go on my Instagram I have a picture of like next to standing to diesel and you'll see literally from basically here to here there you go it's basically just wrapped up okay so keep in mind my arm is stiff I can't really bend it I don't want to mess up the tape I don't want to mess up the healing process so I have to keep it covered I have to keep my arm in a certain way it's kind of annoying and so we're going through and so we finally get in line for Halloween Horror Nights and what happens there is that 
let me just say guys the lines for the rides were nothing you know we basically planned before even going in we said you know we're gonna go to the rides because you know most people let's be honest when you go to halloween horror nights you're going there for the haunted houses that's how that's how it is so we were like let's go for the rides and not even joking guys literally the longest line i think we waited in was like 25 minutes the longest and it wasn't bad at all it was but that ride the one that was like 25 minutes yeah we got stuck on that but i'm gonna do that for another video of another story so it'll be on the lookout for that one but moving on guys once we got done with all the rides you know you know we were able to get through get through all the rides we wanted to very short line we even got to the mummy if you guys know that ride and like literally as soon as we got out that line um it was the line was packed like we got there at a perfect time which was great and so you know we were able to get that done we were able to get our rides done so then like you know what let's let's do some houses so we were able to um we were going and we were looking at the different house options but really the main goal was like the halloween house like that was the house kind of theme that we were looking at anyway so we were waiting and we were looking for it and we finally found it which the line was like not yet 90 minutes um to be honest with you it did not feel like at 90 minutes it felt kind of shorter than 90 minutes because the line constantly was moving it's not like you were stuck there like you know like some rides even like a, a non halloween day or a non like i guess holiday type day it's like honestly i feel like the lines when you're there you're stuck there you're standing and it's like it's terrible like you don't it feels like it, you feel like you're in there for hours and so you know the lines going on it's not bad at all and uh finally we get to the house after we go through all this stuff and we ended up backstage where funny story is where I almost got kicked out of Grad Bash, which I haven't made a video on that yet, and I'm not sure if I'm going to, but I may make a video on that about how I almost got kicked out of Grad Bash, which is, is really stupid in my opinion. Like out of everybody, I'm the one that almost got kicked out of Grad Bash, which. So basically, guys, as soon as we got into the house, uh, you know, it's how do we describe it? It's kind of like, uh, like you start off with like you know when you walk, like if you were to walk into the back like of a meat area you have like those like those plastic clear things falling like go, kind of going down you have to like move through them and, you know it's like i feel like that's kind of like a traditional halloween house thing uh so we're going through and constantly there's like secret doors to the place where it was like michael myers was like waiting by every corner now funniest thing possible could have happened for us because at the end of the day we when we went through we were able to dodge literally everything um, I don't know what I don't know why I don't know how but basically every second we would go through a door the person the family in front of us like these group of girls were like getting traumatized because they were the only people who were getting actually targeted and so every time we would walk through they would actually go away like the character the person playing would actually walk away and he would go back into a hidden door so I felt bad for these people because every time they would go and so then long story short we went through that house constantly just kind of getting away with everything but we got to see everything it was really cool how it works and so then we were just like okay well we want to do one more house and I don't remember the name of the second house exactly sadly but it was basically like imagine like horror stories um I think it was maybe horror tales scary tales something like that and basically the house was kind of cool because it was uh that we that house we didn't kind of we did not avoid anything we got targeted but it's whatever <laughs> and so when you walk in it's like you have this and i hate it but you can't i don't remember the person up top there but this like story basically it's like a child story of a character and she is being like trapped and she's like dead version like she's zombified <laughs> zombified if you want to call it and uh you know she's trying to scare everybody obviously and so you go through the rest of the house and it's like just jump scare galore on every corner possible like and there's just one area where it's just all of those like drapes and it's hands constantly going through like going through near your face all that stuff and every time i would walk through there there was always a hand waiting for me and it was the most annoying thing ever but you know that that's her job is kind of to scare you probably bother you and so you know 
funny thing is you know how they tell you not to like touch them well i feel like what happens in that type of area you somebody's going to accidentally touch these people i, I don't know why but i feel like that's just how it works because where, how that place is set up it's a small little walkway it's almost impossible to not run into them um now i don't remember ever running into him but i feel like that's probably one of the easiest things to do in that area personally so get out of the house and it was really cool and honestly that house actually i felt kind of i actually felt scared from that because i was like i was actually <laughs> not able to get away with anything in there um but it was really cool honestly and so we went through that and at that point it was like 12 i think and we were just we were tired um Keep in mind the place stays open till 2 a.m but i'm not trying to stay there till 2 a.m personally it, i know a lot of people really really went there for like the stranger things thing the stranger things house and i get it that makes sense um so if you guys went through and you possibly you know know about it please just comment down below what you think about it what you liked what you disliked all that stuff and let me know about that because heck i didn't get to go through it so just let me know but at that basically long story short after that guys we basically just went back to the hotel so if you guys did enjoy today's video please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new comment down below what you guys think comment comment down below if you guys actually went to halloween horn nights if you ever been if you want to go uh, like i said if you went to the stranger things house let me know what you guys thought about that and hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys haven't yet please be sure to again go check out my last video it's a very very important video and it will be in the description guys and you know thank you guys so much for the support you guys have given me and i'll see you guys later peace that I'm at an all time. <laughs>